Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm on the wrong day. Okay. My name is Anna, Functional Planning, and I am here to plan Tuesday the 9th of June. I am going with a black and white theme. I am going to try to stick with either pen and paper or the few black and white stickers that I have. I do have a lot of samples from Planner Key. Let me see what I can find. Sorry for the sound. I don't see anything. I can use the darker ones. But in my daily planner, I try not to use stickers. I do stick to pen and paper if I can try to. Um, also, I don't plan ahead in my daily planner. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing these, but... Um, yeah, let's see if I do them next week. I do have a few more videos for last week that didn't go up because of everything that was happening in the planner community. I am going to be posting those next week. But this week is all going to be either a darker color or black and white. So that was pretty simple. These are my self-care routines. Um, I will go in and fill in Monday night. What is it that I have to do on Tuesday? Because it's too early to know. Um, the monthly and the academic planners are launching on the 9th. So that is super exciting. Um, I will be releasing my video on the 8th and um, this is how I would be setting up the planner. Uh, I never set up my daily planner so way in advance but this is Tuesday June 9th in my daily duo. I am here to plan June 10th let me make sure I'm doing, um, saying the correct year, June 10th of 2020. Yes, I'm looking at the correct tab. Now, this week we are all doing a color theme, which is black and white. But I will be doing just pen and paper in this spread. Not necessarily. I am going to use the AM and PM sticker just so I don't have to write that down and I'm going to be using these to mark down my dinner so let's get started I'm only going to be writing down my self-care routine and what I would do every day I'm going to be using my gray highlighter because I don't have a darker color one so let's start
I know it looks simple, but this is um, all I want to do for now. I will be reassessing it Tuesday night. Obviously, I will have less work to do Tuesday night because I already have the whole setting. I will never ever lay down my stickers. I learned this in the past. I don't know why I did it again. Um, but that's a personal preference. I will be, I will continue doing Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. The weekend is the most challenging for me, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying to keep it simple because of the color scheme and I like it. I, my daily planner is simple. I don't, I usually decorate my daily planner after not before this is thursday june 11th and i am here to plan or to show you how i set up my day uh, obviously i am not setting it up on the day of uh, today is friday so it's way ahead i'm not going to be uh, writing everything that i would normally write in on the night before I'm going to be setting it up with my uh, self-care routine and um, basically just blocking my work time and what I would normally do when I come home on Thursday, but not much uh, details. So let's get this started. So this is um, Thursday the 11th, June 2020. These are my self-care routines. They don't always happen, but I try to remind myself. That's why I write it on every single page. I will have a better idea what my schedule looks like Wednesday night. Oh, actually, this here is where I would actually start doing my plan with me. But actually this week I didn't do it. So this is why I'm filming Friday. But let's see what happens. If you would like to see what this looks like, you can always check out my Instagram account, Functional Planning. I will continue filming Friday of this week and then I will end with the weekend. I am on Friday. June 12th, finally, um, I've come to the end of the week. I still have the weekend to plan. I have planned the whole entire week, each individual day. If you wanna catch those videos, I'm gonna to try to link them uh, one uh, to each other. If you're interested, uh, this one I'm gonna do extremely plain. I'm gonna do pen and paper and then i have the weekend left it just it's just the layout that it's driving me a little crazy but um we do have a theme this week we're going black and white um i already put down this thicker even before um this whole it all happened everything else is going to be black and white and yes i'm in the month of february trying to plan june so let's get started so we don't make this video too long.
this is my pen and paper spread i love it when it looks like this um i got these stickers in the erin condren subscription uh pack or yeah that's what it's called it's called a pack and i wanted to use them so i figured i will use them in my older planner once i start my new one i want to start using my new stickers that's why i put them all over the month of june but um this is how i like to plan now, this is anna functional planning and i am planning the weekend of saturday and sunday the 13th and 14th and this is a black and white theme i know i put down some stickers but if you watch my series i um explain that And believe it or not, I think this is exactly what I did last weekend. I think this is what I'm going to keep doing. These are my to-dos. If I have anything else, I'll keep just adding. Last week, I made the list too long. But this is how I like my spread to look like. I would prefer separate days for my weekends but this is what I have to work with and um, I hope you guys like my video my spread if you did please don't forget to hit like if you want to see more content please uh, subscribe and I hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend um, Let's see um, if I decide to keep doing these. Um, I would love to. Um, but I will show you the ones that I did in from the week before. Um, I will be showing you those after these. So um, have a great day. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Whatever time you're watching this. Uh, thank you so much.